If I was gonna start an eBay business in 2023, these are the exact six steps that I would follow. I've been implementing this system for the last two and a half years. And just last year, I was able to achieve $100,000 in sales. So if you stick to this system, you might be surprised at how many sales you start to generate over the next few months. Let's jump into the first one, which is goal setting. So this is a super important one, but it often gets neglected. When it comes to goal setting, there's two main questions that you need to ask yourself before you get underway. The first one is why are you even doing this in the first place? It's a lot of work. What goals are you trying to achieve from doing it? Is it the fact that you've got an overseas holiday coming up at the end of the year, or do you wanna make eBay a full-time business down the line? Whatever it is, write it down so you can always reflect back on the reason why you got started. And then the second one is how much money do you actually need to achieve that? Is it a $5,000 trip at the end of the year? Uh, or is it a 50K over the course of a year to be a full-time income? Whatever the case may be, put your goal down financially with the actual vision that you've got set for yourself. So I refer to step number two as the setup. And really what that is, is just creating a working environment at home, whether it be a spare bedroom, a home office that you can convert into your new mini eBay business. And what you're gonna need is just, first of all, a listing station that you can convert into a shipping station as well when that time comes. But you wanna make sure that you've got a trestle table, you can source them for free off Facebook Marketplace and put yourself against a nice white wall uh, to try and create some really good listing photos. And if you can invest any money into it at the very beginning of your business, I would recommend it being the box lights because the lighting in the photos are just so crucial that you wanna be investing into a good set of lights. So links are in the description below uh, to check out the ones that I've got, which I absolutely love. The best purchase that I've ever made for my eBay business was my box lights. So go and check those ones out if you like. Um, you're gonna need some basic stationery for your shipping. You're gonna need some storage tubs to house that. Uh, you're gonna need to register yourself as a business. You're gonna need to create an Excel spreadsheet to record income and expenses. And uh, once you've done all of that, you're ready to go for your first listing. Find your first 10 or $500. Now I say that because every new seller has a limit of 10 items or 500 bucks within their first month. So you really wanna be strategic about what these first 10 items are that you're putting into your store. You could speak to eBay after you've done your 10 listings and say, hey guys, do you mind if you just open me up for a couple more listings? And they tend to do that. Uh, but in the very beginning, just make sure that those first 10 are gonna be some good ones. And what I mean by that is maybe just a slightly higher average sale price, maybe a 50 to $60 item. And that could be a good way to kick yourself off rather than a really cheap sort of five to $10 item that maybe isn't as desirable. Uh, you can play around with household items like video games, DVDs, shoes, clothes, hats, whatever the case may be, there are some really good categories to start in because the shipping side of it isn't too scary. If you had a really big, bulky, heavy item, that could be quite daunting as a new seller to try and ship off. So keep it simple, uh, but do your research. Use the eBay app and the eProfit app. There are two apps that you should try and download. I use them to this day after two and a half years, every single day, and uh, they work an absolute treat for me. And they really help me out with a good bit of guidance before I go ahead and list that item up for sale or even purchase it when I'm out in the thrift or the garage sale or the flea market. So get yourself those two apps and then do your research, significant research into sell-through rate, filter your item to see what it actually sells for and then see how many have actually gone on to sell. And that'll give you a good indication as to how well your item's gonna go. And then from there, give eBay a call and see if you can open up yourself for some more listings. Now guys, this is a really tough part of the video. It's the part that everyone gives up on. You get into your first couple of listings and then nothing sells. I call this the danger zone. This is the time where everybody gives up as new sellers. The algorithm's not working for you. You're not getting any impressions. You're not getting any page views. And ultimately that means you're not getting any sales. And everyone gives up and they run away and they think they, they can't sell on eBay and they complain and they bicker and they get on social media. I've seen it so many times before because people come to me at that point in time and they say, Matt, why aren't I selling anything? You've really got to understand that you've got to work yourself through the danger zone. And before we get to step number four, that's just suffering through the first couple of weeks where things might not be going so well and reflecting back on the goal setting that you put in place right at the beginning to know the reason why you got started. There is light at the end of the tunnel. You can get yourself through the danger zone. And the way of doing that is step number four. Step number four, sales actually don't matter. And it's really important to focus on your first 200 listings. So you've got through the first little period, you're in the danger zone, things aren't great. This is the most crucial part for any new seller out there. If you can break through this little moment right now, you're gonna be off to the races down the line because the sales are gonna come from then on. So get those first 200 listing in. All you should be thinking about 
is how many listings do I need to put in to hit my goals for this week? Don't worry about the sales, build your store up to 200 listings. It takes a good few months for the algorithm to realize where you're at and what you're doing and how much impressions and page views and sales it needs to give you. For me, for about a year and a half straight, and I'm talking every single day, I was listing 10 items up into my eBay business and it took about three or four months for me to hit the sort of plateau period where I knew that that's kind of where I was at. And the only way I was gonna make more money is if I added more listings in. A lot of different opinions out there around whether or not you should be listing every day, but what I can say is scheduling your listings is a very, very important step. So if I was a part-time seller and I was only trying to do maybe 30, 35 listings a week, I would then try and list five listings every single day to go live. And I would actually try and, I think from an efficiency perspective, I would try and bulk list those items up on one day of the week. It might be a Sunday that you list up 35 items, but what you actually do is you schedule five items to go live at say nine o'clock every single day for the week. And in the eyes of eBay, the algorithm, they see that there's new listings going live every day in your account, and they need to reward you with impressions and page views and ultimately sales if you can be consistent over a really long period of time. It's no good to just do it as 35 listings for one week. You've gotta be literally doing 35 listings every single week for a good three to four months before you hit a plateau of average sales per day. That's a very, very common process that I've seen through my experience. So to do that, let's get your first 200 listings in. Close your eyes, try and hit those first 200 and don't even think about the sales. So you've made it through the toughest part of being a brand new seller, the first 200 listings, and you're still here. You might not be making a ton of sales, but you've made it to the what will ultimately probably be the three month mark. Now I think the three month to the six month mark is to step number five, which is the rocket and rank. You really wanna try and cash in on all of the really good consistent work that you've done. There's a few little power boosting steps that you can put in place in the rock and rank category that I do on a daily basis, but maybe you can start to bring this in now more consistently uh, to your rebay store at the 200 item mark. And what I'm referring to are a couple of these little tips, which is promoting your listings. Promoting your listings just means that you get a little boost in ad impressions. I like to do 3%, no more than that. It is the extra fee that you will ultimately end up paying. Um, so I think that's a good thing to implement on every single one of your listings across all categories. 3% promoted listings, half of my sales out of 3% promoted listings actually go on to sell via promoted. So it's a really crucial step to make sure that you're doing that. Uh, you wanna make sure that you're activating accept and the send of best offers. So best offers, again, like promoted listings for me, makes up about 50% of my sales. So that's a really crucial step to make sure that you're activating and using on a daily basis. The minute somebody's watching your item, send them an offer, try to get them hot. Uh, so that's one thing that I'll do all the time. You wanna set and execute on a one day shipping and handling time. Now in the first three months, building yourself up to 200 listings, you might be a little bit nervous about the shipping side of it, don't worry, I get it. It can be certainly daunting, but you wanna make sure that maybe if it was a two or a three day at the very beginning that you were giving yourself some leniency, let's dial that into one day now because you've got companies out there like Amazon that are almost getting them same day delivery. So you wanna make sure that you're the same. The minute something sells, you're coming home from your nine to five job, you're putting your t-shirt into a satchel and you're sending it off to the person that's bought it. Very, very crucial step in the eyes of the algorithm to reward you on the fact that you're being a good fast shipper of your items. Uh, another one as well is quality listings over quantity of listings. You might've put a few items in there to get yourself up to 200 that maybe aren't the best items. So this is the point now where you go, look, I'm just gonna make sure that they're really good quality listings. I'm gonna be doing my research. I'm gonna make sure that it's a nice high average sale price on the item rather than just putting in these little small uh, bits and pieces to try and just hit my numbers. Because ultimately you're just putting garbage into your eBay store and it's not gonna sell. And then you're gonna get frustrated by that. So quality over quantity, I have learned, is a very, very important crucial step to focus on. And then the other one as well is just responding to all of those customer inquiries customer questions that are gonna to start to come in. The more listings that you've got, the more inquiries you're gonna get. Now I've got a store of 2,000 items and I get inquiries every single day, but I make it a first priority to, as soon as something comes in, I'm answering it. So rocket and rank, do those five steps and you'll be well on your way to building up the consistency of the sales that you're starting to get each day. Step number six is repeat daily. This is a grind. eBay is genuinely a grind. Sales don't stop. There's always inquiries. You've got to be listing up new items. You've got to be sourcing new items, uh, going out to thrift stores, flea markets, and garage sales to find that new stock. Um, don't get too stressed out by setting too big an outlandish goal. This is a very slow process. It took me a good 18 months before I could say that I was a full-time seller, and I worked every single day at what I thought at the time was a full-time capacity. 
and I wasn't there for 18 months. So it does take a long time. You've really got to get the algorithm on your side. And the only way, as I've touched on, to get the algorithm on your side is to be consistent over a long period of time with all of those small daily processes because they really do add up into a consistent eBay business. And that, in the eyes of the algorithm, is what keeps generating you sales. So if you can survive the first uh, five steps, the, the sixth and final is just to keep it going and, and keep that hamster wheel rolling on. The longer you can do it, the more stronger and the better your store is going to be. And hopefully you get into self uh, into a place where you actually enjoy doing it. I've done it for two and a half years and I absolutely love every single day of it. And I'm almost so aware now of the algorithm after the time that I've been doing this and trying to learn it, that I'm so confident to be able to tell you these six steps in this video because I've lived and breathed it every single day. And it's achievable. It's so achievable for everyone out there. People just, people just break down in the first couple of months because they don't see the sales that they want. They don't realize that it's just around the corner if they stay consistent with it. So please just, all my advice out of this video is don't drop your head, um, just stay with it because I'm proof of the pudding that after two and a half years, if you can just do the daily principles just like I've shown you, um, you can achieve whatever you need to out of this eBay game. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. There's a more in-depth uh, beginner's guide video right here for you guys to go and check out if you haven't caught that one yet. Appreciate you tuning in, guys. We'll see you soon.